Welcome to Ribbon Roll. I'm Aaron. I'm Amanda. This is Carmen. And we're at a Harvest House. So this is our first experience with Harvest Host. Harvest Host is a subscription model where you sign up for a year's membership and there's a map and you can pick all over the map different farms, wineries, breweries, and you contact that person, you ask if there's availability, and you're encouraged to make a purchase at whatever kind of institution that they might have. And so it's really great if you are just making your way through a place. It's only kind of one night as you're passing through. So for us, we're on our way back to Chicago, just needed one stop. So we are just outside of Omaha, staying here at Doe and Diva's Dairy Inc., which as you can hear, is a goat farm. And they make lotions and soaps and cheese out of the milk. And so there is a large selection of all the different soaps. We picked up dinner from the Sole Mio. Got some good Italian food that we're gonna enjoy here out on the patio. Along with some uh, wine, a little self-serve from, uh, from the gas station. Cheers. Cheers. In order to use Harvest Host, you do have to be self-contained and not require any electricity, water, or anything for the night. And there might be some other people depending on the how large the property is. So tonight there's going to be a couple other people staying in this farm, but we're going to be spread out and supporting local business. We just arrived at our second Harvest Host stay, and we are currently at an alpaca farm in Oklahoma. But before we show you around, I'm going to put together a quick dinner. It is very hot, so I probably already look sweaty. A uh, quick dinner of a, just a nice little salad, and then we'll show you around a little bit. We have a dinner crasher. Hey, Alex. Farm cat. We're at Zena Suri Alpacas, and as you can see, there are, I don't know if it's a herd, we better look up what the word is for a group of alpacas, but they're just grazing. We're here at sunset. And the owners of the place are supposed to give us a tour in the morning, so hopefully we'll be able to share a little bit more. Also, it's really hot. We didn't think about that, and um, it's like 90 degrees. So I know Amanda said it was hot. It's uh, It's been in the 90s. I think the feels like was like 106 or something like that. So I uh, just wanted to give an update on Amanda, <laughs> what she's currently doing. And that would be it. Ice. That ice pack does not have ice in it. It just happened to be in the freezer. So it's a little cold. It's like room temperature. Well, maybe not. It's like a normal room temperature. <laughs> uh, so just send her your thoughts and prayers and best wishes and blessings and- oh. um, And a battery powered fan. And a battery powered fan. Rookie fail. It's really not that bad. Just a battery powered fan. It would be like amazing. We're buying one tomorrow, everyone. Although, where we're going is not going to be as hot. <laughs> this is definitely our hottest day on this trip, but uh, it, it'll be fine. She'll survive, I promise. Surrey alpacas. We bought some socks and we're on our way to New Mexico. It's going to be a long drive, but we will catch you up when we get there.
So after leaving the alpacas this morning, we've been on the road all day long, very long road day. We are about an hour and a half away from our destination, and I'm in the mood for a cold beer, which is perfect for where we're going. What'd you get? A peach cider after 10 hours of driving. <laughs> I went with a pale ale here at Sierra Blanca Brewery. She had one killer round. I won the I won the round the whole match. So I still win. So we had a great time at Sierra Blanca Brewery. We were able to get different ciders, different beers, and then they have a whole backyard. There was also a food truck. They were able to get dinner, so they have food trucks on Fridays and Saturdays a lot of the times. So now we're gonna hit the road for another drive day. So those are our first three harvest hosts. We had great experiences hanging out with sheep, alpacas, and at a brewery. Just really reinforcing why we like Harvest Host so much. It broke up the long drive. We were able to frequent some local businesses and meet people who are just pursuing their passions. So we'll include a link in the description if you would like to sign up for Harvest Host as well as to the three specific ones that we stayed at. And make sure and subscribe to find out where in the world we no, that's my line. So be sure to... No, I already said it. So, so make sure and subscribe to find out where in the world Karma goes next. Action. On the engine. On the engine. It's going to be what it is. Karma on a hill. You know? <laughs> that one says, nah, I don't want the milk for today. Traffic jam is where we're trying to leave the farm. That's a little dark.